Um, I think I, I only missed one um, one arena show, and that's because I had to go to my cousin's wedding. Um, I missed a couple. They 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 were they were doing tapings on Sunday uh, afternoons briefly too. I missed a couple of those, maybe two or three of those. I'm counting against you. <laughs> but um, right, what attracted you to ECW as a fan? Um, the more, I guess, uh, uh, the more violent aspect of it in the beginning. You know, they were, you know, it's much more exciting than going to the, uh, I mean, at, you know, to the WWF at that time. Well, the Hawaiian shirt part, I got um, the idea from uh, a friend of mine who I met down there in, in, the, in the Spectrum in 1985. And uh, he wore Hawaiian shirts. I said, well, that probably looks good on TV. So my brother and I decided, no, oh, we start wearing Hawaiian shirts. And um, the hat part was my idea. I, I, I started wearing a straw hat about seven years ago. About, the, uh, about a year after ECW started, a year or two after ECW started at the arena. What, why is there this dedication of the ECW audience to the company? Well, at that time, they they um, prom I, I would say they promoted a uh, a style that was unique, even though it was done years ago. They perfected it, and they they developed a core audience, and you know they stuck with them till the end. What made the ECW really special? I would say. Uh, the people, yeah. You know, I mean, the the fans, the the people, the it, just everything about them. It just had a magic about it. Um, yeah, you know, the matches. Yeah, you know, I mean, some of the you know, great matches that they had over the years. Yeah, you know, the audience was just like, you know, a very appreciative audience. What the different chants, you mean? Or? Yeah, anything that they did that was kind of every show. Well, I can name one in particular when I before I'd uh, take my seat, you know, maybe a few minutes before the show started, I'd walk out, you know, to my seat with uh, my hat by my side, and I'd get the same familiar chant, "Where's your hat? Where's your hat?" I'd put it on, and they all start cheering. And then you get a few fans that would say, "That hat sucks. That hat sucks." It was fun. Anything in the ring or out of the ring that upset or disgusted you? The crucifix angle. When they nailed Tommy Dreamer, to think that was—I wouldn't say I'm a real religious person. I mean, but that kind of bothered me being a Catholic. <laughs> you know, on the day before Easter, I think it was the day before Easter they did that. Um, like I said, I'm not the most religious person in the world. I don't intend to be, but that kind of bothered me a little bit. I mean, I don't think it was—it didn't make me stop going. I mean, I, you know, but um, that was something that you know sticks out in my mind. Pretty much. You were described by Todd Gordon as the perfect fan. Why were you the perfect fan? <laughs> um, I don't know if I'd say I'm the perfect fan, but I love pro wrestling. I mean, and anytime I can get involved, you know, in any way, um, I would do it. You were friendly with these guys after mm -hmm. the shows, but. During well, the there was a lot of drinking too. So <laughs> during the shows, you would, you would give the response that uh, that they would want to elicit, and um, what made you want to do that? Considering you you understand the business and uh, you know what's going on, so you don't actually hate these guys. But if a heel would come out, you would give the guy shit. Right. And if face came out, you'd cheer for the face. Why did you sort of play along with the, the, the interaction with the wrestlers? It was all about getting involved. Um, you know, I, you're right. I never really. I don't think there's anyone I really ha actually hated. But um, it was fun. It was fun just getting right in their face and you know, and seeing the expression on their face and you know my facial expressions and, so, and and the audience loved it. You know, they thought I was really. You know, I guess at times they thought I was really. You know, upset and angry, and you know, when it was all fun. 
well it was nerve-wracking uh, for them anyway <laughs> but um, it was well um, I think right before right before we um, you know I, I went to my I, I, they had the same chant and where's your hat where's your hat and and it it was really I mean the building was clean I mean I couldn't get over how you know because the arena you know there wasn't for the, the TV shows, you know, when we were there, you know, it wasn't really, I wouldn't say it was dirty, but I mean, it wasn't like super clean like it was the, the day of the pay-per-view. I mean, the floor was spotless. I couldn't get over that. 